Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. We're still in the engine room for a little bit longer. We have to get another star in toy time. And then we might actually be able to go to the Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. But first, there's also a hungry Luma outside that we want to feed. Who probably wants a large portion of my star bits, if I had to guess. A fairly large portion indeed. Let's find out how much he wants. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with a snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need a thousand star bits to curb the hunger pangs. Okay, goodbye most of my star bits. It's not half this time. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! The Sand Spiral Galaxy has appeared. Let's go. Choosing a favorite snack. So, this is a very interesting concept. For a level, we need to choose between B mushroom or Boo mushroom. Okay, I'm not gonna make the joke I just thought of. This white mushroom is yummy. I think I'm gonna go with Boo mushroom. It does mean that the Boos will be chasing after me a little bit and that. It'll be difficult. Uh, I'll probably die if I touch the light. Uh, but it means that I can just keep floating forever, which is probably the better option than just having to try and float my way through carefully. Grab that, and then let's... Oh, be very careful, be very careful, be very careful. Go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. Let's launch ourselves. Lose our power-up. But we're up here now. And oh my goodness. It's, uh, bright because of the moonlight. Oh, that's a moon? What, where is the, what sun is lighting it up? I don't know, but anyway, we have some rainbow stars here on this thing to collect because it means we can go through these rocks without having to worry. These spiky rocks. We just have to follow everything to the center of this spiral, I think. Pretty sure we have to go all the way to the center. It just looks like we're not actually making much progress because of the um, the way it spins as we're going across it. Oh dear, oh dear, don't hit me. And actually, having... Oh my gosh. Having the star power right now would probably be good. Oh my gosh. Dodging spike balls. And trying not to die in a hole! Don't spin. Pro tip, don't spin. You lose your momentum that it gives you while you're on that platform. Let's try this again. And this time with 10% uh, more feeling. Also, you can just start partway through instead of starting at the very beginning. If you just wait a little bit longer. So we made it. Oh, don't jump that way! This is fine. I've got plenty of lives to spend on this. Let me try this again. Please don't kill me. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, I should. I, 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 yeah. Good song though. Very good song. Please grab star. Thank you. No! Oh my gosh! I tried to pull back at the last second, and it really pulled back. There really needs to be something to catch you if you fall. <laughs> kind of. I guess that would take away the whole point of the challenge. This is supposed to be a very difficult level, considering the tunnel that we had to go through to get here. Actually, I believe the best strategy for this would be to actually just long jump to the middle. Since the gravity's there to catch you.
But there we go, and now we need 12 more stars, I'm pretty sure. Galaxy complete. Is it? No, it is 13. Okay. It does it add, it adds the actual number. Even if our total wasn't updated before. Pretty sure if we go away from that. No, it does stay there. But yeah, that's cool having the count count down there. Okay, let's head back to toy time. Also, I saw something while I was up top before. So let me check that real quick. Because there's these, these things are around the place, but there's one that's just active up here, I believe. That I wanted to look at. Oh, actually, I think I know what it is. Yep, this is a shortcut from all the way down here, all the way back up. So that's why this was here. That's very useful, if I actually pay attention to where it is and don't forget about it and all that. But anyway, let's head back to the engine room. And then let's go to toy time, please. Okay, toy time. Mario meets Mario. We could see that Pixel Mario in the background in the previous star. All systems are go! Why? Because I say so! Okay, Captain Toad. Let's go! Where are we going? Grabbing that, grabbing that... Now we're on this planet, we need to get some uh, launch launch star fragments. Okay, and this is also a pretty cool planet because of all this screws and stuff on it. There's also a hungry loomer up here who might be a little bit difficult to feed. Maybe. Hey you, yeah you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 50 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. I have that much, good. So I can feed you straight away. And come back to this later, probably. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go, transform! A new planet was born. That looks fun, but I really want to stick with the current one. That's the, that's the, yeah, it's a, that's the real problem with these, uh, Hungry Luma stars. They should really, I kind of would be happier if they appeared after you did the star that it would appear on. But anyway, can't really change much about it, so let's just go up this screw. And if we screw it, we screw it all the way down through the other side of the planet, which means we can get that, um, uh, launch star chip that's up here. And now we can use the launch star that's right here. Now over to Mario. So, this Mario is made up of platforms and lava. There's also a M star bits thing at the top of his hat. But yeah, these platforms, obviously we've seen the green ones that disappeared, these yellow ones turn after you've stepped on them once. So we're going to run out of platform if we're not careful. Solid platforms disappear very quickly. Oh dear. Let's go over here, careful not to touch the lava. Okay, we've got three of the silver stars, just need two more, which are over here. Spin jumps are being very useful right now. And I believe the star's gonna spawn over there, so we have to go, go back there now. Go! There we go.
And with that, I think it's time to go to the next Bowser level. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. King, King Caliente's Spicy Return. Okay, let's get started with these Goomba-like things. I don't know, I don't know what they're called because these definitely aren't the Goombas, but those things are Goomba-like and I'm not sure if they have a different name or if they actually are called Goombas as well. I don't know. But anyway, let's go all the way over here. Probably taking out all the Goombas is a good idea, so you don't have to worry about them. And over here, we have this bullet bill that we can use if we go to the right spot. Oh, oh no! Okay, let's try this again. And actually, I'm gonna long jump a little bit more since that was pretty good on the previous run as well. Okay, so let's get one of these bullet bills to follow us and just head right back to the start with this launch star and there we go let's launch these platforms sink in the lava so you need to be careful oh grab that grab that thank you and now let's play tennis with these enemies kind of tennis. Okay. And let's go. Launch that go, please. Launch that, please. If I give up any more Grand Stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. Here he is again, and this time with sinking platforms. There we go. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh my goodness, these fire enemies. I don't think you can take out these ones. I'm pretty sure they're a different type of this particular enemy that you can't kill. You have to just wait for them to disappear. This crown goes in the lava. Next phase. Oh my goodness. Meteors. Cool. Don't touch me. Okay. There we go. Once you've finished the fight, these platforms don't sink in the lava anymore, which is nice, because otherwise you'd be in a lot of trouble. You can still die by jumping in the lava, but yeah. And we've unlocked the garden. Mark. Now that we've recovered so many grand stars, the beacon is almost too bright to look at. 
Once the observatory works as a starship again, we can bring you to the center of the universe. Then we can get to your special one. We just need a few more power stars. You must help us. Very close to the end now. We have a new ob uh, a new dome to look at. That's all of the grand stars apparently. So I'm guessing that means that this last dome uh, won't have a Bowser level, I suppose. We can also go across this planet now, which has its own function, but we're going to get up to that in a little bit. So for now, let's go to this little platform over here to go over to the new dome. This is the garden, it's a secret room. And it looks pretty cool when you're on the inside because it's a garden. It's just a regular dome. But the illusion of being in, in this area looks really cool. But anyway, let's have a look at these levels. And there are, is no Bowser level. Deep Dark Galaxy. And Dreadnought Galaxy. Let's get started. The Underground Ghost Ship. Yes. This place is certainly interesting. Let me see if I can get that one up. Even though I don't need it. We're currently on vacay, uh, I mean, galactic survey duty. Please be patient with us. We're on an exploration mission. Yeah, definitely not vacation, as you're about to say. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we can also launch these coconuts around. So let me head up to this new planet up here as well. We can also see a planet up there that looks, that looks very familiar. So I think we should go there at some point. First, I want to go over to this planet over here by shooting at this star in midair. There we go, Rainbow Star. There's also a Fire Flower here that we can have to take out these enemies. But Rainbow Star is way more fun. Since it goes so fast and you're just so strong because you can't get take hits and you can kill everything in one go. Just by walking into it, it's pretty good. But anyway, let's head back. And let's use the cannon again. Let's go for that planet up there. Careful not to hit the leaf. I don't know if you can hit the leaf. I think you can. But anyway, this planet is the Gateway Galaxy that we went to when we first arrived in the galaxy. I'm pretty sure it is, at least. Just a few differences. But anyway, let's unscrew this bit here. And the air's getting out of the planet, which is making it smaller. So we might have, um... May have just destroyed this entire planet. It's fine, we didn't need it anymore, mostly. I'll get the coins. There we go. And eventually, this little um, planet, it's, it's gone now. So anyway, let's get these last two coins from these Goombas that we don't actually need. And let's actually take this Fire Flower now, because we need it back on the ground. So let's go quickly. And if I can make it over here, also I'm pretty sure you can take out these crabs with the fire flower fairly quickly. Yep, you can. If we light up these two torches, we have a new pathway we can go through. So let's go this way. Take you out. Now we're in a completely different area. Let's see what this toad has to say and whatever is in his block. It's a coin. Uh, the team is surveying an underground lake. Oh, cool. Let's head down then. All the way down, avoiding these bloopers. Oh, and we can go through here as well. Let's 
Let's see if I can hit the switch underwater. If I can aim in the right direction. There we go. There's also a lot of mines down here that you need to be careful of, these floating things. Oh, don't crash in the wall. Can I grab that bubble? Please? Please? Also, there's a switch over there that we need to hit. So we can get out of here. Please hit that, thank you. So let's head up. We can see the moon, which is cool. And here we are, at the underground lake, with this haunted ship, because there's boo booze here. I'm just gonna see if I can take you out with this light. I've got so many coins right now that I don't need. Anyway, let's head on up. And look who's back. Had to fight Camilla again. Same rules as before. Just need to get the shell. Please. Oh, shell, 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 shell. Thank you. Take that. And there are also plenty of ways to get coins around the arena. Two fireballs. Give me the green. Nice. Taking it up to the next level. And spawning in some enemies. Okay, let's head on up head on up. Okay. Oh burning. Grab that. Hit you with that. Okay, taking out those small enemies is probably a good plan. And this is a very small area for three fireballs to spawn into. If it does. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I'm fine. Give me the green. Thank you. And there we go. Galaxy in the Garden. Let's see what this is. Matter Splatter Galaxy. That one's actually a fairly interesting one. But we'll get to that in a minute, probably. Or five, I don't know. Let's go back to Deep Dark Galaxy. And go to Bubble Blast Off. Well, starting off, the cannon that was here is now being occupied by this guy. So we're gonna have to take him out. The cannon's been hijacked. That under Grunt Gunner is keeping us from exploring the area. Well, I don't know if... Oh, that does work. You can actually sh throw the coconuts at him. I didn't realize you could. That's actually very interesting that you can. Let me actually do that again because that's actually fairly good. Just dodge the bubbles that don't really do much to you. Oh, this toad's still asleep. Meat, yum 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 yum. The other way to take him out is to get on top of him and ground pound. But we can. We don't have to do that, I guess, which is interesting. And I did not know that. So, let's. I don't think we have to actually go back up there, so I don't think there's any point in going over here. But we can shoot ourselves into a random part of space, which could go really badly for us. Oh, it does go really badly for us. We're going into space. I'm going into space. So don't do that. 
You only stop flying when you hit an object, I guess. Oh, actually, I know what I need to do. We do actually need to go to a different planet. So, oh, I don't really want to, but I have to. Let's go over to this planet, planet again, because we need that fire flower, I'm pretty sure. But also star bits are important, so let's get the ones that are on this planet. By killing everything. There we go. Very nice. I think we've only got one more Hungry Luma back in the observatory. But it hasn't unlocked yet, so that's just... be alright for now, I guess. I might actually have enough star bits just by playing normally. Now let me see if I can light these torches all on fire. That one there. That one there. That one there. Please don't be a third, fourth. Nope, there isn't. And for lighting those all up, we get an ice flower. So let's take it over here. And let's go. Just have to jump up here and go up. And then back up this way. And now we should be pretty good. Just need to dodge the rock. Okay, there we go. Okay. Where am I going? What am I doing? Also, don't fall down because I'm pretty sure if you fall down you have to get that ice flower again. Oh, wow, that turned into sling stars. I was not expecting that, but I'm glad that I managed to not mess it up. And now we have to use these bubble launcher things to try and get up higher through this level. There we go. Oh, fire. That's fun. Let me just skip that. Okay. Nice and high now. Oh, get on the block. Or in the middle, I guess that works too. Okay, we're over here now. Oh my goodness, that was such a long way to go. I think I have to hit all of these blocks, probably. While dodging cheap cheeps. Ow. I said dodging. Didn't I? Maybe, probably. Anyway, now I can use this bubble creator, which they also look like a lot like Flood in their design. But anyway, we're on this planet now. I might quickly grab this, this coin so I don't die. And also probably this one over here as well. We have to dodge these uh, laser links, rings. Laser links? I don't know where that came from. Laser rings. And we need to ground pound these balls into the middle bit here, which looks like a watermelon. Okay. There we go, it's getting bigger, and... Nope, I'm missing that one. Oh, almost. I'm going to grab that coin before I die. Get down, there we go. Now we get a watermelon planet, I guess. The, la the laser rings are still there. Ah, uh, but... Just grab the star. There we go. Save. And that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.